Hi everyone, Merry Christmas. If you are watching this when this first posts, I'm guessing that most of you are not though. So Merry, you made it through Christmas and Happy New Year. This is the final day of our Adventures with Noelle series 2023. It is the second year we've done it. It will probably not be the last because I think for the most part, you guys enjoy this format where we open up six different advent calendars day by day. I can't guarantee that we'll always have six. It just kind of depends on my budget and which calendars you want me to repeat and which calendars you want me to try, but you definitely have input. So I'm looking for suggestions. Even now, I'll put them in one of the many notebooks that I've gotten or on one of the many notepads that I've gotten in this series and save it for next year when we start looking at advent calendars as early as August. That's when they start to come out. That's when I'm waiting for them to drop. That's when I'm looking for all those discounts and deals. But for now, we have two calendars out of the six that did have a day 25 to enjoy. They are two of the big ones, two of the heaviest ones, so I'm gonna do my best. It is, of course, Liberty London and The White Company. And The White Company, because I went in alphabetical order, has always been last. So I figured today we would start with The White Company and end with Liberty London, which has kind of emerged as one of your favorites this year. So again, the White Company came in this lovely box, which I did have featured yesterday. It is still just as heavy because I have not emptied the contents, but I will start doing that in the next couple of days and putting together those bundles for those of you who are going to enter our little contest. You do have to fill out the multiple choice quiz. I think there's 20 questions, I'm not totally sure. Um, but then you have until the new year to get those entries in and then the top scorers just depends on if there's perfect scores, it'll be all the perfect scorers. But if it's like anybody who gets over 90%, for example, might be entered to win those mystery bundles which will have some of the items from these advent calendars some might seem out of season you know there could be some ornaments that sneak in there that you have to hold on to for next year but i know a lot of you actually do your advent calendar shopping right now in december or even after the holiday so that you save them for next year so that's what we do with ornaments anyway right all right, so this one was $249. I did get a discount. Uh, brought it down to, with tax and shipping, $228.06. Uh, I actually didn't have to pay the shipping on this one. So it was an average of $9.12 per gift that I paid. Uh, not necessarily the value. I don't think they've told us. Oh, they did say the contents are worth $342. So um, I don't actually have my phone with me. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh, that was a bright light that I got real close to. You'd think on the last day I would be more prepared, but I hadn't done that math for you guys. So divide 342 by 25. So on average, the value of the items is $13.68. So just a few dollars more than the $9.12 that I paid. Um, we did get a double day kind of in there, so I'll give them that. I think that that's fair. I think that average is fair, especially because we've been able to look up the full size on the items where we've gotten a smaller amount. Usually it's like a quarter size of the full size. Um, and I do think we've gotten gotten our value there for sure. Because it's all items that are from the white company, it's pretty easy to kind of cross check. I didn't actually go through and do it by like, per fluid ounce to see if that adds up, but I trust them and I do feel like it's about right. So if you f didn't remember, and you should should be remembering, that this was a calendar that started out really strong because on day number, I feel like I'm playing an accordion, on day number one, we had this big door right here. And what's cool is on day, ooh, day number 25, we have a big door right next to it. So let me put this back down. I'm just like one of my, Worst fears is that I just drop one of these calendars. Um, hopefully not one of the ones that I'm planning on keeping. This is not one of the ones I'm planning on keeping because it came with a dented corner anyway. Uh, but uh, I don't have much use for it. But there is our big old day 25 with the silver foil on the front. Uh, so yes, indeed, this was my guess was that we would get another candle. That's a good like bookends for a uh, calendar, I think. So it is, oh, it's a scent that we've seen already. What did we see this scent in? We, I think we got the shower gel in tuberose and cashmere. Oh, there's something on this box. It's tuberose, jasmine, and cashmere woods. Cashmere woods is like coming up as a scent. So many places. Um, I guess it's just like a new scent, like a fragrance that's out there. Um, it's like when people did like fresh linen was like the new scent and you're like, I mean, I guess I do know what that sound smells like. I don't know what cashmere woods smells like though. Cause again, oh, like cashmere -y, like, 
maybe the woods of Kashmir. Uh, okay, I don't know. I don't know where that comes from. It's a candle. I'm sorry, you guys. The lights are bright. I'm having to film this in the evening, even though I know if you are watching, if you've been watching at the 8 a.m. Pacific time, you are watching in the morning. But I have a feeling people are watching at all different times. So let's see what it says about this. This is a 4.9 ounce candle. It's just got a little seal to it. Oh, it's kind of funny because it looks like it looks like the wax didn't actually go up to the edge inside or it did, but like you can see on the, the, these parts, like it's like right up to the edge. I mean, I guess it filled the whole vessel. It's just kind of strange because it's got like dirt. Can you guys see that? Do you see how there's like a difference? between where the wax meets the glass. Interesting, interesting. So this 4.9 ounce candle has a value of $29. Ooh, oh, that smells more tuberose. Like it smells like a lay of tuberose. Oh, that takes me back home. Yes, it does. I love me a tuberose lay. All right, so that smells very good. So I still don't know what cashmere smells like because to me that smells like tuberose. Uh, so. It, a little bit of jasmine? I don't know. Those are both really strong scents by themselves, so I feel like the Cashmere Woods, which is listed third here on the scent notes, is uh, just going to get overpowered. Scent description. Cozy and warming. See, I think of cozy and warming as being more like musky, amber scents, like woodsy scents. This is more like fresh uh, and floral. Fresh and floral is how I would describe that. Mm-hmm. Fresh and floral. Um, like going into a floral shop. Maybe a Hawaiian one. Uh, it says poured and hand finished in the UK. We did get a couple UK calendars. Let's see. Single wick candle with a long even burn for maximum scent release. It does say that it has 28 hours of burn time. Like the luxurious whisper soft hug of cashmere. Fresh white tuberose. Soothing. Oh, so it's supposed to be the, the hug of cashmere. It's not like a scent. Okay. Um, Soothing jasmine and uplifting orange flower combined with velvety cashmere woods and warming musk. Like the luxurious whisper soft hug of cashmere with velvety cashmere woods. All right. And warming musk. So there is some muskiness in there. Make this very beautiful scent. One that brings an instant sense of luxury with every use. It's pretty. That's a nice thing to get. I wish we'd honestly gotten like more candles in this calendar. Um, like little votives or something. I wish we could have gotten a couple more like lifestyle items. I don't know, like, uh, I don't know if they do wax melts, but like something like that or like, uh, we, we got a lot of body washes, lotions, um, hand washes, mini home sprays. Um, I don't know. I think for me the most exciting, oh, we did get that sea salt votive candle. So we did get one votive. So we got a total of three candles. Um, I really liked the pomander if they'd done a couple more like things you could spray with the home spray, um, like an essential oil thing, or even like an essential oil, like piece of jewelry. I, that could have been really cool and made it more of a lifestyle item. I know some of you get this calendar every year. I don't know that it's one that I would personally repeat. Uh, now that I've gotten the opportunity, it's really more like a sample calendar where I've gotten the opportunity to really find the scents that I like. I really love that winter signature can candle that we got at the beginning. I love the fir tree mini home spray. The sea salt votive was fantastic. This one is pretty nice, but not my favorite. But still, I don't know that I would get another... I prefer cal calendars that have multiple brands. That's my personal opinion. All right, now Liberty London. This, oh, I gotta show it to you one more time. Even though it is heavy. I, the White Company was heavier, but um, this one is also heavy. And this one, I think I'm gonna, like I said, uh, like one of you suggested, gift it to my nieces to play around with and keep their trinkets in. Although I do like that idea of having like a family game night. Um, I don't have a big enough family and I don't think they would sit through. I don't know. They might sit like if you were like, yeah, the like, like, questions get harder and the prizes get better as you get closer to day 25. You never know. People might uh, sit through it. Or if you just were like, yeah, it's like little like candies and silly things in there, but there is one $100 bill in one of the doors. I feel like people would sit around and play for an hour, right? With your quiz questions. Maybe that's what I should do next year for the quiz and just be like, there's just one big prize. I like to spread out the wealth a little bit more. All right, day 25 is the big one in the center. Should I hold it up and show you guys accordion style? All right, okay, here we go. 
we make it through this. It's that big one in the middle. Ta-da! Okay. It's hard to see the gold numbers. I will say it is challenging. Um, sometimes they were like right in front of my face and I couldn't see them. We know it's not a double day. And again, this calendar had not one, but two or not one, not two, but four double days because they had a total of, um, 29 products. 20 of them were full sized. Uh, it had a total value of doing the conversion, almost 1300 us dollars. The average that I paid per gift was $11.88, including the tax, because the shipping was free. Um, I don't have an affiliate link for either of these boxes that I'm opening today, but here we go. It's not a double day. It's, it's a lot of shred. I was like, is there anything in there? I can, I can hear something rolling around, but it, I don't think it's a full size thing unless it's jewelry. One of the things I loved about this ca calendar is that there were a couple lifestyle things in there, like that cute little star bracelet. I wish they had done more of that. Um, there was another calendar that I was looking at, but it was real expensive um, and I didn't wind up getting it, but uh, because these other ones were released sooner, but I might wait for that one next year. We'll see. Unless you guys give me better suggestions. Wow, I'm really having to dig in there. <laughs> oh, um, okay. So this is a brand that I have seen uh, in multiple advent calendars because I, like many of you, like to watch Alexandria Ryan because I think she's hilarious. And, sorry, still got a little tickle in my throat, um, but I had to do this item justice. This is always one of those like super high priced items, like insanely high priced items. Um, I don't think this is a full size though. It's Augustinus. She says batter. I'm going to say Bader like Ruth Bader Ginsburg. That's my guess, but maybe you, I don't know. Augustinus Bader, the rich cream with TFCB. I don't know what TFCB is. La crème hydratante riche avec TFCB. Um, okay, you're like, show me the bottle. It's really pretty. It is gorgeous. Um, definitely not full size or for resale because it didn't come in an outer box. Uh, this is the rich cream. Okay, here we go. So this is 15 milliliters. We did not get a full size product on the last day. I love this calendar, but I am disappointed that, I mean, 20 of the 29 products are full size and we didn't end with one of those on the last day or at least two on the last day. Mm. Okay. Um, the normal size is twice this size. It's 30 milliliters for $185, which does not make this the most expensive item we've gotten in this calendar. I think we had something that was like $90. We had that funky lipstick that was like $50. Mm. I think we've had a couple things that were like over $100 or close to it. So this divide in half, right? So this is $92.50 for 15 milliliters. But again, I think we had another serum that was like over $90. Um, I does say online that 50 milliliters, which is almost twice the full size that is available, should last you four weeks. So divide 50 milliliters by four, that means you need 12 and a half milliliters per week, which means, hmm, this is like a little bit over a week. A little bit over a week for $92.50. I feel like they're trying to trick you. They're like, 50 milliliters should last you four weeks. But then you're like, yeah, but you can only buy 30 milliliters at a time. So that 30 milliliters will last me like almost three weeks. All right, let's read the description. If you're yet to try this cult cream, prepare to fall in love or join the cult. Uh, built on a base of Augustinus Bader's proprietary skin strengthening complex, it'll add copious amounts of glow while also protecting skin from winter's harsh chill. Now a vegan formula, apparently it wasn't before. Uh, Augustinus Bader's The Rich Cream is an intensely luxurious super hydrator designed to dramatically enhance the look and feel of normal to dry compl complexions. So not oily ones, normal to dry. Inspired by 30 years of groundbreaking research and innovation, Professor Bader's cult formula has won countless awards for its miraculous results. Bringing cutting edge science to the masses, this unique, deeply hydrating face cream employs replenishing argan, avocado and antioxidant evening primrose oil, 
for free radical protection whilst stimulating skin's natural cell renewal function for rejuvenated, youthful, healthy, and radiant appearance. It is clinically proven to reduce fine lines and wrinkles after just four weeks of use. So you gotta use it for four weeks to the amazement of beauty industry professionals and skincare buffs alike. So it is clinically proven to reduce fine lines and wrinkles after just four weeks. But right here, we have just over a week's worth. So for me to actually see results, I need to purchase at least the 30 milliliter one, but even that won't get me through that. It'll get me 45 milliliters, right? If I bought the 30 milliliter one for $185 plus this 15 milliliters, it would almost get me to four weeks. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. So, it's cool. I'll try it and see what we can see in like a little over a week, but um, it's a real pretty blue. It's a real pretty bottle. Um, it's just, it's a little disappointing for the last day. I'm still going to give it, like, honestly, I'm still going to say this, like, Advent box is, like, my winner overall, just for value and for introducing me to brands that I would never be able to afford otherwise. But, well, I'm, I'm, I feel like there's got to be, like, extra points for, like, good first day, good last day, and then kind of evenly dispersing the higher value wow items throughout like you don't want to stack it heavy in the beginning you don't want to stack it heavy at the end although i would be okay with like start with the littlest item and then go all the way up to like a big bang at the end like i would almost be okay with that um okay let's just look it over some of the other calendars shall we because we've got a couple minutes from fresh we got a lot of samples we got a lot of rose we got a lot of sugar I think my favorite thing is going to be the good old uh, soy face cleanser just because I know that line and I like it. It was a decent size, but there wasn't really anything else that I was like, ooh, I am super excited about. There was one item, if you all recall, that I was really not excited about, which I think does win the award for the worst product that we got out of all of the calendars, out of all of the days. Um, Lady M, just not a good value. Disappointing last day. The jellies were delicious. The little biscuits, the $4 biscuits were delicious. Uh, but I would not get that again, even though it's cute. Liberty London, extremely great value. Do I think that it's necessarily actually worth almost $1,300? Nah. Do I think I got my $320, excuse me, $344.80 worth? Yes, I do. I do think so. I do think I got that money's worth. I because there's such small sample sizes that I can't even like make an educated guess at whether it's going to actually work for me. Um, even though I guess technically we got 20 full sizes, 20 full sizes, just not the last one. I like the in introduction of having some lifestyle items like a candle and a bracelet. And I wish they'd just do like a little bit more of that. Like if like 25% of the cal calendar was like that, then it would be like knock it out of the park. I it is a contender for the one box we repeat next year. So, yeah, you guys, I made an Excel spreadsheet that has all the days. That's the kind of person I am. Yeah. Um, my French country home. Do I think we got $1,000 worth? No. I mean, on paper and from those actual companies? Sure. I'm sure those MSRPs were like crazy. Do I think I got $550 worth? Uh, not necessarily. Um, maybe I would be more interested in that calendar if... I was not a, a subscriber of the quarterly box or if that calendar promised that there would not be repeats uh, from the quarterly box. Although some of the repeats were some of my favorite items this time, like the antique cake slicer, the antique um, napkin holders, the salt pot, the fleur de sel, the, let's see, what else did I like? I did like the salt or uh, the pepper mill, even though I already got one of those. So a lot of the things that I liked were repeats that I would have already have gotten from the quarterly box, which tells me I should just stick with the quarterly box. Uh, the Rosé Marius liquid soap, the LaBelle necklace, that was a winner. That's like in there for like best gift out of all of the days, all the calendars. Papier, beautiful box. I think the box is the best part about that calendar. For sure. 
there are a couple good days. Like, I like the notebook at the end. I like the washi tape, even though I don't really use washi tape. There were some solid days. The rainbow pen clip was pretty. The note cards were lovely. Do I wish there had been a little bit more value there? Yes, I do. White Company, decent value. I think I got my money's worth with that one. Some really nice scents. Would I have liked to have seen a little bit more variety? Yes, but I kind of knew what I was getting into with that one. Um, but some really nice scents and a, a good introduction to that brand. So you guys let me know in the comments below in terms of like what, what calendar kept wowing you, what calendar kept disappointing you. If you were doing a quiz, like what calendar won the most days for you for best item, I wanna hear. And of course, I want you to fill out that quiz so that you can help me out in terms of using some of these products. And I hope that you have a fantastic, fantastic day, no matter what day of the year you're watching this on, and to see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.